Time study data can be loaded directly into the PDA. You can see on the screen here a number of elements have been described with a particular element sequence for the time study to be performed. However, loading into the PDA is it's to make use of the very small keyboard that comes with the, uh, the PDA. It can be very time consuming. A better way to go, as we recommend, is to actually use the setting up the elements inside Excel itself. So right here you can see with the template that we just saw in the PDA a moment ago. So you can see that uh, what is down on the PDA is actually a mini image of what is on the Excel sheet in the background here. What we can do is just add a few elements and show you how this works here. So I'm going to say I want to add a couple of rows here. Make insert some rows. And I'm going to just say, let's say we have to scan the item. And uh, let's say they're going to do an inspect. And let's say they're going to assign to rack. OK, so I've just added these three items to the P PDA here. I'm just going to pass it down into the PC. Uh, I've added the items to the Excel sheet. I'm going to pass that down into the PDA. Now you can see the PDA right now doesn't have my new items in here. Right? They are not listed here after the uh, just before the pack. You can see it ends with the options on row 13 here. So I'm going to close out of the Excel sheet over here um, on the PDA. And just say I'm done. And I'm just going to pass this directly down. I come back here. And it knows there's already data there. I'm not, going to, I'm not going to replace that. So I'm just going to replace it directly. Go back to my elements area. Bring up the PDA. Open my Timer Pro again. We have made a change to the template, so of course I have to save the, uh, or reopen the uh, template I want to use. And I'll just do uh, open last use study. And it says I can't do that because I have to use the default. So I'm going to create from the default here. And I'll call it Warehouse 2. So I put in that name, click on the OK. And now you'll see that my new items are presented to me here. You can see get work order, walk to storage, get part, scan item, inspect, aside the rack. So there's three new items are now passed down into the PDA. And in fact, if I click on the elements here and go to my edit option, you can see here's a mini version of the Excel sheet uh, inside the PDA. So it's very easy to add elements in Excel, pass them down into the PDA, ready to start taking your time study.